the most fundamental challenge of using Evernote is keeping your notes organized. I encourage you to use as few notebooks as possible and use as many tags as necessary. Now, tags are individual words, phrases, usually without spaces, that you add on to individual notes to help keep them organized. If you want to see your tags, you can go up to View and then Tags, or Command Option 3 will also jump you to all of your tags. You can have tens of thousands of tags if you want. I don't recommend having that many, but you can. So how do you use tags? Well, here's how. We remember things from more than one angle, so your notes should have more than one tag, generally. Your ideas overlap. There's, there's times when one idea can bridge to another idea. And it's important to build a system that allows you to find out when your ideas overlap. And you can do that when you use tags. It's important to keep all of your information in one place, but to also be able to organize it quickly. Tags allow you to do that. Tags also allow you to do very quick searches. So I'm going to show you some different ways to do that. Again, the tags area is up here. So on a brand new note, I'll do a brand new note here. It's going to be up here. The shortcut to that is command, go down here, command apostrophe. You can jump up to the tag area. If you're typing a word that already exists as a tag, like blog and blog post, I just typed the word blog, you can enter and start. But if it's a new one, so X does, uh, XYZ is a new tag, if I hit enter, I have just created a new tag. So you don't have to use existing tags. You can make brand new ones right up here. And I'm going to call this my test tag note. And the moment that this syncs, so I'll hit the sync button right here. When I go to my tags list, let's jump over there. Remember our tag is blog post XYZ. Actually, I'm going to change this to BXYZ. That'll be easier. BXYZ. All right, and we'll sync again. We're going to go to our tags view, and we'll see the blog post. I have 219, and then I have uh, this BXYZ is another one that overlaps with blog posts. This is another great thing about tags. When you click on an individual tag, the other ones that change color means that they share that tag. If I click on courses that convert, I can see it overlaps with other notes. These are grayed out. It doesn't overlap, but it does overlap with this one, this one, this one, meaning it shares, it has more than one note, and they happen to overlap. Now watch this. If I hit Command and I click on this other tag, I can see one note has both courses that convert and Evernote. So uh, let me find one that's got multiple here. Blog post and early to rise. There you go. So I've got three notes that have both early to rise and blog posts. So you can start to see how you can really do robust searches using tags. So again, my recommendation for you is to use as many tags as you possibly can when you are creating your notes. It allows you to use one notebook. And if you need to, you can take individual tags and drag them over to your shortcuts list over here. Or in the search box, you can just search for that individual tag, like blog posts. And it'll say, hey, are you searching for notes tag blog posts? I want to say yes. And you can see right here. Now, all these tags right here, the 219, are all right here. These are all tagged blog posts. So that is why you should and how to use tags in Evernote.